Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From the sun under the main headline of England's Jason Roy slapped with suspended ban and fined. £2,500 for behaviour. Summary of headline article. England cricketer Jason Roy has been slapped with a two-game suspended ban and £2,500 fine. One Jason Roy has been hit with a suspended two-game ban credit. Getty and ECB statement on Tuesday confirmed that Roy's ban will be suspended for 12 months and dependent on good behavior. The ECB did not make public the nature of the incident for which he was punished over. Roy, 31, is expected to be a big part of England's plans at the T20 World Cup in Australia later this year. Roy was part of the England team that won the 2019 Cricket World Cup. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Leclerc gave Ferrari heart attack with brilliant prank on cusp of Bahrain win. Summary of headline article. Charles Leclerc found time to prank Ferrari staff despite being seconds away from a famous win at the Bahrain Grand Prix. When the Red Bull man was then forced to retire, Leclerc looked comfortable as he cruised to the checkered flag. It gave a heart attack to some of the engineers I'm sure. But everything was fine. Is Charles Leclerc the man to beat in this F1 season? The team have won one a driver's world title since Kimi Raikkonen's triumph in 2007. When he edged out then rookie Hamilton in the final race. From The Guardian under the main headline of Rafael Nadal out for four to six weeks after suffering. Stress fracture of rib. Summary of headline article. Nadal will be out for four to six weeks. A layoff that would see him miss the Monte Carlo Masters and make an appearance at the Barcelona. Open unlikely. He would face a rush to return for the Madrid Open at the beginning of May. As it turns out, I have a stress crack in one of my ribs and will be out for four to six weeks, said Nadal in a statement on social media after undergoing tests in Spain. Afterwards, Nadal said that he suffered from breathing issues and sharp pains around the area of his injury. I reached a very important part of the year with very good feelings and good results, wrote Nadal. From Mail Online under the main headline of six things to look out for during this international break. Summary of headline article. Just as the domestic action edges closer to its dramatic conclusion this season. The international break is here again. The former. The reigning European champions. Are even facing missing out on a second consecutive World Cup. So. With that in mind. Sportsmail picked out six things to look out for in the break. Both sides went to the World Cup in Russia in 2018. But crashed out in the group stage. They face Austria in their World Cup playoff semi-final. And are hoping that talisman Gareth Bale will be fit for the clash after his injury woes. From the sun under the main headline of how Liverpool and Man City's run-ins compare as Prem title. Race hots up. Summary of headline article. Manchester City and Liverpool are preparing for yet another blockbuster Premier League title. Showdown. Won the title run-ins for both Manchester City and Liverpool Pep Guardiola and Jurgen Klopp will come. Head-to-head -head at the Etihad on April 10 in what could well prove to be a title decider. Sun Sport has taken a look at each of their run-ins and established who is best placed to clinch the Prem Crown come May 22. Next up City host Newcastle, a team who have never beaten him at the Etihad in the Premier League. But if they can overhaul Man City. It will be one of the greatest title race comebacks of all time. From Metro under the main headline of UFC stars Jorge Masvidal and Colby Covington clash in. 
Restaurant Brawl. Summary of headline article. Masvidal and Covington fought in the octagon at the start of the month. Picture. Getty. UFC rivals Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal brawled at a Miami restaurant with the police called to the incident on Monday night. Covington won that battle but the war has continued with the two involved in a physical altercation, at the Pappy Steak restaurant in Miami. Reports claim Masvidal arrived at the restaurant shortly after Covington shared a video of himself eating there. The clip also shows the welterweight speaking to Instagram star Bob Menery, asking him, how would he know I'm here? Slater Scoop. UFC stars Colby Covington and Jorge Masvidal got into a fight moments ago at Pappy Steak Restaurant in Miami Beach. Shortly after the incident, Masvidal shared his own message on social media. From Mail Online under the main headline of United Dominate Le Quipe list of the Premier League's Best Paid Stars. Summary of headline article. Manchester United's mega-rich superstars dominate Le Quip's list of the Premier League's highest paid players. It has been revealed, with four of the top five earners on the books at Old Trafford this season. United goalkeeper David De Gea is the third best paid player in the Premier League. Meanwhile, with the stopper banking an impressive monthly figure of £1.6 million. Intriguingly, three of the players they recruited last summer, Ronaldo, Sancho and Varane, have been singled out in the top five list from Le Quipe. United currently sit sixth in the Premier League table and face a fierce fight even just to qualify for a place among Europe's elite in the Champions League next year. United have failed to challenge for the Premier League title even once since they last won it. Way back in 2013 in Sir Alex Ferguson's final season in charge before retirement. From Metro under the main headline of Vasily Lomachenko turns down world title fight to stay and fight in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Lomachenko will remain in Ukraine instead of fighting for the title again. Picture. Getty. Vasily Lomachenko has turned down a historic world title fight this summer to stay in Ukraine and defend his country from the Russian invasion. Martial law in Ukraine states that men between the age of 18 and 60 are barred from leaving their country during the conflict. He thanked me and thanked Cambosos for giving him ample opportunity to make up his mind. And he thanked us for doing the deal in the first place. Cambosos is now expected to fight Devon Haney. Picture. Getty. But Aegis confirmed today that he's gonna stay in the Ukraine. Please stay safe and once I wipe the floor with Devon. We will make this fight between two real champions. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Anthony Joshua responds to fans convinced Star was. Wearing wedding ring in photo. Summary of headline article. Speculation was rife that former heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua had secretly wed after being spotted with a ring on his wedding finger at UFC London Anthony Joshua has denied he has secretly tied the knot after being spotted wearing a ring on his wedding finger. Speculation was sparked when the ring was noted by fans after Joshua posted a picture on social media. Love the pic but. Do I see a ring on his wedding finger? Wrote one fan. Who also added a heartbroken emoji. But those who harbor dreams of a shot with the heavyweight might still have a chance. After Joshua addressed the rumors. They went on to specify that AJ only wears it on his ring finger because that is the digit that the. Device fits on the best. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Carragher Sides with Gary Neville in Gary Lineker Spat. I can't believe you. Summary of headline article. 
Jamie Carragher has reignited the debate between Gary Neville and Gary Lineker over whether Man United players should have been lying low after the defeat by Atletico Madrid. Jamie Carragher has sided with Gary Neville in his Twitter debate with Gary Lineker over whether Manchester United players should be lying low after being knocked out of the Champions League. Who do you agree with? Gary Neville or Gary Lineker? Joining the debate. Neville's Sky Sports co-pundit Carragher leapt to the Manchester United legend's defence. Explaining. Because you're that disappointed with a result or your own performance that you can't face people. I can't believe you've never felt like that or changed your plans for a night out. Among other things. Neville was apparently frustrated by the sight of Manchester United co-owner Avram Grant in Bahrain for the Grand Prix during a time of crisis at Old Trafford. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.